destination trailers have been taking the RV industry by storm. Everybody wants to tap into this gold mine, and I don't think there's anybody new who's tapping into it better than the unit that's behind me. This is the all new 2024 Crossroads Hampton model 388 FKL with this huge, beautiful windshield. We're gonna be taking a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Hampton and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited because just announced, General RV is now selling the all new Crossroads Hampton. This is the first time we actually had one at the dealership and it's not even at the dealership because it's getting ready to get set up for the Florida RV Super Show. So before we begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. what's your first thoughts? Guys, I took a peek at this on the inside. Not only is it the best looking in my opinion yes. on the inside, it's gotta be one of the best floor plans. Yes. Show you guys, it's awesome. Yes, and Will, I'm not gonna lie to you. We don't know the MSRP. Okay. We will share it with everybody on the inside because Jen will find it for us. But let me tell you something. If this is anything comparable to the other destination models on the market today, this unit's by far the best. Right. And you guys are gonna love it. So let's begin. All right. Model is 388 FKL. The actual tip tip length, 42 feet, 11 inches. The dry weight is 12,016 pounds. The hitch weight is 1,868 pounds. Extremely heavy. Yeah. 66 gallons of fresh water, 78 gallons of gray water, 39 gallons of black water. Will, why is this unit so heavy? Because it's a destination trailer. It's bigger. It's it's not made to be moved really that much. It's not a travel trailer. It's not, yeah. It's more like a park model, a destination right, trailer. Right, right. Set it and forget it. Not only that, if you have a 150 or if you don't have a tow vehicle for this, just don't tow it. Right. We can deliver this to you. Truthfully, you'll probably need a dually for this because oh, it's so big. It's so big. Yeah. Let a, if you're buying this unit, let a professional move yeah, it for you. Yeah, for sure. You, you can hire somebody very inexpensive. And because of that, Will, you're not gonna get nice features like a power tongue jack. It's gonna be ma manual. And guess what? It's this, cool. This That's sucks. Fine. No, this sucks. Right. Don't move it. You know right. what I'm saying? Pay somebody to crank it for you. The pay the mover of the RV to crank it on and off their yep. truck. That's what they're trying to accomplish. Right. Nice big propane tanks right here. And then your batteries go right there. Will, this is a very simple unit. And one thing that I'm absolutely loving is this huge windshield. Right. This is what I want. This is what I want. Yep. It is fantastic. Again, manual stabilizing jacks. Crank it down, set it and forget it. You never need to worry about it. Nice sliding glass door with the black fold up steps. Now, womp womp, we don't like the fold up steps, but the reason why you have that is because on this glass door anyways, one, you can't get the fold up steps. Right. And two, what a lot of people do is they'll have a campsite by the lake or by the mountains or even at an RV resort, and then they'll build a patio yeah. right here for people Perfect to hang for out. Perfect for that. Exactly. Nice power awning with LED lights, sound system right there, and the glass door. This does have the extreme weather package and this is Crossroads, which is a division of Keystone. And so it does have a three year warranty. Right. Well, is this our first Crossroads? Maybe. Dutchman no. is. Well, no, because RVR Dutchman. had the uh, private label. Ah, uh, okay, okay. But for General RV. Possibly, yeah. Guys, let me break it down to you. What's Dutch? No, Dutchman is. Okay. Yeah, Dutchman is, is under Keystone, yes. just like Crossroads. Exactly. So let me tell you guys something more of the RV industry before we continue on. The RV industry is going down, down, baby, right? Not down, but rebalancing from after right, COVID. Right, right. Nobody's picking up new brands. Right. So for General to pick up this brand, it's because it's fantastic. Right. You know what I'm saying? Coming on down, Will. Look at these tires. Well, they're high specs. I love those. These are the 235-80 R16s. Again, not great tires, not great axles, not great for towing. Let a professional tow it for you. Right. Another power awning with LED lights. And right here, you can have cable hookup, power for a TV on the outside. Now, here's what I will say. The black steps, womp womp. Right. We do not like these. Yeah. This, you could have done the aluminum fold-up steps, or you could have even done the solid steps for this side. Right. That side, you get a pass. This, this side, we do not like it. But we will talk about that a little later. No backup camera. No okay. ladder to get up on the roof. Again, they don't want you towing this. City water connection, black tank flush, fresh water, 
potable water fill. Potable, potable. A uh, little outdoor spigot right here. That's cool. I actually do like that. 50 amp power cord, and then here, it's gonna be like a little outdoor shower area. Really, really nice. I'm not mad at this. It's just is what it is. On all these destination trailers, the outsides are very simple. They are, yeah. That way you can maximize features on the inside. Yep. Right there, that's where you're dumping your tank. Okay. Here you got a little bit of storage under the king size bed in the bedroom nice. area. Okay. Coming on down. Instant hot tankless water heater. I actually love that because a lot of brands are giving you like residential water heaters. Just yeah. Instant hot. And then uh, that's where you're, you're dumping your gray tank. And then you got another dump station right there. It's a big old sucker, isn't it? It is, yeah. Finishing up. Very simple. No outside storage, no passenger storage, nothing like that. Because again, this is made. This is made to be set and forget in a permanent spot. Yep. Well, the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. You know what's funny, Will? Come what? on in and go to the left. Don't even go show to the right. left. Okay. Yep. Don't even show the right. Okay. Oh, let me get it plugged in. All right. You got your living area here, dining area, nice TV. There's the lights. Bathroom here. You got a loft upstairs that we'll check out. And a bedroom in the back. Where are we starting today? Walk backwards. Okay. Now, Will. Yeah. This unit has an upstairs. Right. I'm not even talking about that in the intro, right. in the title, or in the description. Because when it is a two-story unit, it always performs well. Right. But I don't even care to mention that because that doesn't make this unit special. It's behind you. Right. Look at this kitchen. Okay, ready? This is the best kitchen I have ever seen in a travel trip, in, in an RV at all. Right. This is absolutely beautiful. And well, guess what? What? We're starting here? We're starting here, but right after we give a shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. It's officially 2024, and that means it's RV show season. Hundreds and thousands of people across the country are going to be buying and trading in their RVs. And it doesn't matter if you're looking at an entry-level travel trailer or a top-of-the-line motorhome. One way that RV manufacturers love to save money is by putting in a cheap mattress. And that's because they know that you're just going to take the mattress out and replace it anyway with something that fits your sleeping style. That's why we partnered with RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding company. They saw a huge opportunity in the industry to make custom sized mattresses that are perfect for RVers. They're able to cut out the middleman markups because they have a factory in Arizona. And what that means is they're able to give you the highest quality mattress at a factory direct price. Not only that, they do free shipping and 120 night sleep trial guarantee, and they'll ship it straight to your house or campground. I've been using my mattress from RVMattress.com for two years now in both my classy motorhome and travel trailer, and I absolutely love it. Click our link down below and check out their website and use promo code MATT for 25% off your order. Thank you so much to RVMattress.com for sponsoring today's video. Let's continue the video. And we're back. Okay, like Matt said, this is just an awesome layout in here. We'll start over here. Nice storage here. Just pay attention to detail. They could have just thrown a cabinet in here, wow. microwave, but they did this instead. It looks so much nicer, so much more residential. Really nice backsplash. Nobody else is doing this backsplash. Nope. I've never seen it before. Good countertop space, power. You got drawers wow. here. Soft closed drawers, which is very nice. Four burner uh, gray stone cooktop with a nice big oven. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. Very nice. Got that one. Countertop space, drawers. Good well, storage there. Solid surface countertop. Solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen. And look at this. Wow. This is this is awesome. Wow. I love this. This is a view. Yes. Literally. Now there is a motorized shade there. Yeah, it's Power in USB. It's right right over oh, there. Oh, okay. Yep, so you can drop the shade, raise it or whatever. Actually, uh, it side moves. To side. It, yep. Just like, oh, I don't know what that beep was for. It's probably because the battery jump box is pretty yes. low. 
Uh, tons of countertop space here, and I love how, like, you're here. This is gonna be most of your prepping cooking area and your cleaning area, and this is where you have the best view. Yes. You know, I love that. A nice extension faucet here, big single bowl sink, farmhouse style. And then you got a little bit of storage up front. It's not gonna be a ton, because you do have, you know, this is the front of the RV. But you get a little bit right there. Love it. So, but it's all good. You got storage on either side as well. Above the uh, refrigerator, oops. And then you do have this. So on those very, very rare transport days, um, the fridge doors aren't gonna come flying open on you. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Come on. I mean, you hit a pothole in Texas. I mean, that right. might get to you. Yeah. Come on, Will, undo that right. sucker. There you go. Oh, right. Had to be the longest screw in the world. Right. Nice, big residential Samsung fridge and freezer right here. And then wrapping up this kitchen over here, you do have storage up top. And then you have a nice, big insignia microwave. Okay. And I do not believe that that is a convection, right? No. Okay. Little coffee bar right here with power outlets and everything. Yep. And then underneath, whoops. Underneath is a little more storage. Yes, sir. That's pretty much Very nice. Kitchen, right? You getting that sucker screwed back in, Will? I'm trying to. Don't damage this fridge before the uh, Florida right. RV Super Show. And then over here, just to wrap it up a little, oh. you do have like a little... It's a divider. Divider. You that know, can you also can use... use... Yeah, to put stuff out, like hors d'oeuvres or something. Yeah. So. Tacos. Tacos, yeah. yeah. Nothing, nothing more than I want than tacos every day. Right. Coming on down here... Talking about that view, this is sliding glass door. I yeah. love this. Nice looking balance, incredibly high ceilings. Right. And then we're over here in the living room. Before we show that, here is the dinette. Now, when I first saw this floor plan, I'm like, yo, dinette, definitely dislike number one. Yep. You don't need it in here. But the way they did it, not only that, I'm like looking at the floor plan schematic, and I'm like, this, they put it in the slide out, which always makes it small and tight. It does, not but not this one, one. Nope. yeah. They did it really, really well. They got the big boy bench. They got the skinny people chairs. You know what I'm saying? Really, really nice. A wireless phone charger here. And then this comes out and it's an extension. Really, really nice. And I love this big boy ottoman chair. Right. This is removable as well. And there's no storage underneath. Okay. No, oh, there is there storage is. underneath. There is, Will. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom with some, a couple of extra cushions. Yes. And then over here, this is the living room area. Okay. This is fantastic and it feels like a home. Right. It feels like a living room, especially with these tall slide outs. So first and foremost, oh man. What? Oh, nice little doormat. Just like that. Cool. The Thomas Paine collection. Very comfortable and nice. Electric recliner chairs. We got cup holders right here. Some storage right there, which is fantastic. Yes. And I'm comfortable and nice and it's awesome. Good. We have a nice big window here and I am looking directly across at the TV entertainment center. So first and foremost, notice that wallpaper there. Mm -hmm. Just gives it some character. It does, yeah. 50 inch TV, uh, really good size, no sound system. There is another wireless phone charger right there and an InnoFlame fireplace. You know what's nice about that fireplace? What's that? It will produce heat from electricity That's and you right. definitely need that Especially this year in Florida, Will. Yeah, it's been pretty cold. It's been a very cold winter, but still warmer than you people up north. Right. I mean, we say cold. It's, you know, what? 60 degrees. Yeah. 63 oh. right now. Yeah. And I'm like, burr. <laughs> right. Nice windows all the way around. Another fantastic slide out. Like these balances. And right here, you do have your privacy blinds. Okay. Okay. And this actually comes out to make a bed. Very cool. You getting it? It's stiff because it's cold weather. Right. Oh. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. This is a fantastic pullout. But honestly, you don't need this because you do have that loft area. Right. But you might need it in case you have some friends and family that want to come to your lake house. Right. By the way, whoever buys this and has a lake house, the week of January 1st through the 7th, Will and I will come over and we'll like inspect it for you. Yeah. Keep an eye on your property for you. There you go. 
Especially if it's right on the lake. Yeah. You know, we'll just check everything out. Free of charge. Free of charge, because we're nice people. And then, do you know what, Will? What's that? I'm going to go upstairs. Okay. Upstairs, go upstairs first? Yep. Better just take this camera, because yeah. I ain't getting up there. I got you, brother. Right here, we have two sleeping areas. Well, three sleeping... Two sleeping areas for three. Yeah. Right up here, two people can sit up here. You got your AC dump mode. You also have a ton of storage right there. And this storage is really, really high up. Actually, let me just do this so you guys can see. Hang on. I can't even see myself. So you guys can see even an adult kind of not will, but, you know, I would be perfectly fine sleeping up here. Now on this side, I'm not even going to climb up there because I know I won't be comfortable sleeping there. Right. Like, it's really, really small. That is for the smaller person. But it is what it is. That's right. And most people are probably going to use this for storage or little kids. Yeah. Great. Which way next? Well, we're going to do the MSRP, Will. Okay. Coming on down. Watch Keep yourself going. and wait till we see this bathroom. Okay. Recenter the camera. Yeah. You know what time it is, Will? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. And guess what? What? I don't know it. Right. But you know who does know it? Jen. Jen, please put the MSRP right here for everybody who's watching on video. That is MSRP. Yep. Sale price. Please put the sale price, Jen. I believe we're allowed to do the normal sale price like a Keystone unit. But right. Please call Cosmo to confirm and will. I don't care what that sale price says. I don't care if we can do it like a Crossroads, like an Alliance, like a Keystone, like any brand. I know we can get everybody an even better price than Jen just listed. All you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash mattscash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us and a member of our team will reach out to you and get you the absolute best price in america that's and right when you're buying especially a destination trailer any of them if you don't have the vehicle we can deliver it for you right what we recommend right. doing is coming to the dealership doing the full demo and orientation walking through the rv with an expert inspect your rv first yep pay for it and then get it delivered to your site there is ways we can Get it delivered to your site without you doing the demo and orientation. It's not the best of ideas, though, probably. We will accommodate you, but we're recommending come in, do the walkthrough, orientation, yep. and then get it delivered. I agree. That's your friendly fact of the day. There you go. Will, show us this amazing shower. Okay. I haven't even seen it yet, so... Well, hopefully it's amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. Wow. Almost failed, actually. Yeah. I do like the whip in here is great. The depth is great, and I really like this as well. Now, it is tough because they can't put a skylight in, which is what would have made the difference. There is still enough head height in here to pass. Bing! That's the shower uh, test seal of approval. Yeah. But again, it really could have failed. It could have. Yeah, it was close. Yeah. Right over here, we have our mirrored medicine cabinet. Okay. And oh, no liquefy. Oh, man. Well, we forgot the liquefy. Bing! Yep. That is our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Get it at primepoopmusician.com. Okay. Nice thing. Thank you to everybody who's been supporting us. Yep. And if you do plan, well, you, you use your holding tanks in a destination trailer. Oh, yeah. So you still need liquefy. Right. Got it. Right there. Got some good storage. Okay. And then here, some good storage there. And a little uh, towel holder. And a porcelain toilet. See the slight angle? They yeah, did? yeah. This is a prime poop position. Bing! And it, if they would have done it straight, it would have failed. Right. Did I show this? Yes. So nice. I'll yeah, show it twice. Perfect. Let's wrap up to the master bedroom. Okay. All right. You come downstairs for the master bedroom. 
Yes, again, there is that door from the outside to the master bedroom. Love that. And again, the down steps is going to make it so it's not so claustrophobic in here. Yep. Pretty Look good at Will. Height in here. Yes. So, yeah, it's definitely good. What's behind you? Right here, you have a nice closet that is washer and dryer prepped. Very nice. And I love that position there. So many yeah, times they put it over they'll here. put it over here. And it's just like, but you can't get to it with the bed. Right. I guess it was a second thought. Again, there's that second door. You have a little peephole there as well. You do. Hey, I'm a peeping Tom. I'll watch your whole family eat dinner. <laughs> right here, we got nice storage. Nice. Good storage right there. Okay. Shout out Theo Vaughn. If anybody knows Theo Vaughn, send him a message. Let him know Matt and Will are huge fans because I think he is so funny. Right. Right there we do have a window. Very nice king size bed. And there was storage from the outside, but it did not connect to the inside. So that must mean there's separate storage right there. Nice. With, yep, those extras. Um, Little chairs. Bar oh, stool at the... Uh, where you call it the taco bar. It's yeah, like a breakfast bar, actually. It's a actually. breakfast bar, yep. Very nice. Right here we got storage, place for a TV, and even more storage there. Bada bing, bada boom, Will. That's it. That's the review. And we are really excited to now be selling Crossroads to Hampton. I don't know if we're selling any other Crossroads brands, but if you guys like a particular Crossroads brand and you think General RV should carry it, comment down below. But Will, that's the review. Now before we leave, we gotta give people three things we like about this unit and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do you want to do first? Let's do three things. Do you want to mix it up this time? Do dislikes or do likes first? Uh, no, okay. because I don't have any dislikes. But you said it, and we're going to do it. Okay. Like number one, and if we're going to mix it up, we're going to mix it up well. And we're going to make like number one this fantastic kitchen. Absolutely. This whole kitchen, the size of it, the countertops. The huge the layout, window. This huge window is absolutely fantastic and massive. You know what? Fall. Pause. Super like. Okay. Super like. The super like in here. Take a step back. All this area, basically. Just, guys, here's everything that we like, love about this unit. This is the reason why you buy this unit, period. An awesome living room space. Yep, I love the double sofas. The space, you know, you actually have space with this dinette. The sliding glass doors, yep. how light it is, how tall ceiling, how tall it is. And to have this awesome kitchen, these solid surface countertops, residential appliances, and that huge windshield. Well, that's so much more than three things, but that's why we are announcing this as the super like. It's super big, super spacious, and it's really the type of destination trailer that you're gonna go to your job Monday through Friday, yep. hate, hate your life, and then Friday evening, you're gonna have a smile on because you know you're going to your sanctuary place. Right. And you're coming into your Hampton and it's gonna be welcome home. There you go. That is the super like, and we don't do super likes much, but when it's more than three, it's the super like. Yep. This is the reason to buy this unit. That is. <sighs> That's three things we love about it, or maybe more. Now it's time for something that we don't like about it. Three things. And Will, it's very, very tough for me. I've done a really bad job trying to figure this out. So Will, what's this like number one? Three things we dislike. I had one. So first and foremost, I'm going to I'm gonna take a cheap out. Okay. Dislike number one is going to be the black fold-up steps. Again, we give it a pass here on the outside. But back there in the uh, master bedroom, that second door entrance, they could have done the fold-up steps or the aluminum steps. Right. So that's an easy dislike for me. That's dislike number one. And don't talk about me, America. It's hard to find dislikes in a unit like this. It is. Okay, dislike number two for me is going to be with this bunk room, how this isn't closed off. Ah, uh, okay. Number one, if they were going to do something like this, it's like take it all the way up because I could see kids like, you know. Playing around. Playing around and falling down. But also, I would rather that they just completely closed it. Oh, with a hard wall. With a hard wall, so that, you know, if the parents get up a little earlier than the kids to make the coffee and all that, they're not waking them up super easily. Not only that, if you're using them for storage, you don't want to see that stuff right. up there anyway. Exactly, exactly. Okay, that's number two. And then, Will. Yeah. I need help with the number three. You need help? Yeah. It's it's very, very tough um, to try to figure out a number three. 
in this unit. Because, again, we don't compare this. Oh, I got a number three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, because we don't compare this to RVs. We don't right, compare this right. to travel trailers. We compare it to destination models. So there's, like, a lot of features that they're not giving you. Like, like we would make the non-power tongue jab yeah, uh, easy. Yeah, but like. that's not. But, again, it's a destination trailer. But I do have a uh, dislike number three. That shower, it passed. Yeah. Barely. Just barely, yeah. Because, like, you know what? I'm going to make it that loft area right there. It's not a great loft area. It's really narrow. Only little kids are going to use it or storage. Yeah. And I would have much rather personally have had a bigger bathroom, bigger shower, taller shower area. Yep. That is three things. Well, that's it. That's the review. Is yep. that three? That was. Three and three. Well, guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you Drop a comment down below. Let us know three things you like about the Hampton, three things you don't like. I'd like to welcome the Crossroads family into the General RV family. And uh, we are going to message the Crossroads people. So drop a comment. Let them know what you would like to change about this unit. Uh, dear Crossroads, our viewers are very opinionated. And they're going to tell you what to do and what not to do. And uh, if you guys want to succeed in the industry, don't listen to me. Listen to them. That's right. If you guys want to buy this unit, go to generalrv.com slash matscash. I've conveniently linked it down in the YouTube description below. Well, what do you got to say to America? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. I think this is a phenomenal destination trailer. Huge props to the people over at Crossroads for, for what they did with this. Um, and like Matt said, make sure to leave your three likes and dislikes down below. Make sure to always smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody thank so much guys. for watching. And we'll, we'll see you next time.